Today we are going to learn about uh, measure input control and the dimension input control. Okay, so to learn this one, uh, first thing we need a model, right? So I already had one model here with the account based model with the, you know, created on, uh, you know, document numbers. Yes, these are the dimensions and this is the account based model with some account, you know, uh, KPIs. Now I'm going to create a story here, canvas story with classical design experience. Now let's see. Okay, so I need to add data here. So adding from my model. Selecting my model here. Okay. So now I am going to story side. I am going to insert one uh, table here. In the table, I am going to show one of the dimension uh, from my data set, which is for example, location dimension. And from the KPIs, you see only one KPI here, key figure I am seeing quantity. So if I go to account filter here, I can enable the other KPIs also, for example, uh, price and amount also, discount I don't want these. So this is a table. Now I'm going to add one more chart, you know, into my model the story. So in this chart, I am taking it as a vertical. Now I'm going to add a measure quantity here, or else, uh, yeah, quantity. Under dimensions, I am going to add location. So coming to the concept of this, uh, you know, input, uh, measure-based input control and dimension-based input control. So what exactly it means in this chart, particular this bar chart currently showing quantity per location. Now in the same chart, if I want to see data in a different dimension perspective, it means quantity um, per, you know, a plant level. Okay, it is currently at location level. In the same chart, I want to change at plant level. So this we can do generally at the designing time, you can change it. But when you, you know um, users are kind of seeing this particular report, they cannot change this kind of, that, that kind of changes in the story. So we can provide if such kind of flexibility needs for the user, then we can provide those by enabling some input controls at story level. So I'm removing my dimension location from the chart and instead of adding a static uh, dimension i am going to create one dimension input control so in this dimension input control i am selecting you know location plant these two other the selections i taken and click on ok so now what happen uh, you see uh, if you want to yeah one second So I, you know, uh, I selected this dimension input control. Now, if I select on this input control, you see location plant are both are coming. Now, when I select plant here, the chart will be automatically updated at a plant level. You see now plant level it is showing. And when I select location, yeah. So not only at the design mode, even if you go to the view mode also, then users are having this kind of flexibility to change between the location and plant. Likewise, you can add multiple, you know, dimensions here in the input control to view the chart in multiple perspectives. Similarly, in the same way, if you want to have the new, you know, um, key figure input control, it means instead of having quantity, if you want to see for a different uh, um, KPI at this uh, chart level, then what you do, instead of adding quantity as a static, cancel this quantity and go to measures and select, you know, I'm not uh, static, and go to create measure input control. Okay. In this one, I'm selecting amount, uh, not this price and quantity. These three I'm selecting here and I click on OK button. So now what happened, you see at a design level, now I got another input control in my story. So now I'm bringing it bottom to here. And then if I can go to view button, so currently it is showing amount per plant because in the input control amount was selected. Now if I select quantity, now it is showing quantity per plant level. 
you see both inputs and you know dimension and the in measures both can be selected by user and can see this chart in multiple ways okay and you see uh, we can expand this particular input control uh, to further or we can keep it in this way as per SAC uh, to, for the better performance it is uh, better to uh, you know ha minimize it. it means it is like this uh, currently this measure dimension is expanded dimension where you can see all measures in the screen but and that plant dimension is a you know uh, mm, minimize dimension why until unless i click on the dimension uh, input control i cannot see this particular options so sap is suggesting to minimize the you know input control this way to get the better performance okay that's all about uh, you know dimension input control you can rename your uh, input controls by double clicking on the header here for example if i double click here i'm adding here a dimension okay, okay. so like this like this you can uh, rename i think i don't know why dimensions so let's say get this um, yeah i think it is showing the count here that's the reason only one thing here so you can rename your dimension and measure uh, you know input controls in this way